my name is Sudha Bala Singham. I work as Head of Strategic Initiatives in Community and Health Services at a regional municipality. I was redeployed to Departmental Emergency Operations Center in Chief of Planning role. Uh, my team and I were responsible for monitoring and doing reports on situational awareness with respect to human services needs and identifying and evaluating options for possible actions. Uh, during this time, I co-chaired the high priority community strategy and coordinated initiatives with partners such as uh, Ontario Health, NGOs like the Red Cross, uh, United Way, as well as many local community agencies. Uh, this work involved monitoring emerging community needs and targeting resources to neighborhoods uh, and populations that were hardest hit by COVID-19. Uh, we could see that uh, the pandemic was having differential impact on marginalized communities. So our work with the partners essentially centered around bringing an equity lens to the response in an effort to bridge gaps so that uh, marginalized communities could have access to the resources and information they needed to protect themselves. Uh, some of these initiatives that were implemented include things like mobile testing sites, multilingual outreach to address misinformation, or safe place to self-isolate if home environment wasn't suitable for that. Then later when vaccines became available, these collaborations with community partners were instrumental in continuing to keep that equity lens uh, in vaccination campaigns to ensure uh, that outreach was targeted to marginalized communities to remove barriers and increase their opportunity to get vaccine uh, and this way increase vaccine uptake. I do want to stress that uh, all these efforts were made possible not just by one person or one organization, uh, but by many collectively working together in a concerted manner. Uh, it was quite awesome in the way that community partners and leaders collaborated to quickly mobilize and deploy resources into communities that needed them. Um, I uh, even remember working through Christmas to on our plan to establish isolation center, uh, given the urgency of the need, of course. Uh, you just asked about some of the challenges. Um, some of the challenges specific to this work had to do with not having access to some of the traditional and trusted outreach channels, given many of the usual community programs and gathering places stopped operations for obvious safety reasons. So uh, new virtual channels had to be established to connect with communities and partners. Uh, it was incredible to see how organizations put aside their differences and formed partnerships to uh, be responsive for broader good of the community. Uh, another challenge uh, I'd say is, although we've had previous training in IMS, uh, that's incident management system for managing emergencies, and nothing could have fully prepared us for what we were facing at the scale we were facing it. The impacts were and continue to be far reaching. In some ways, I'd say we were building the plane as we were flying. Uh, we were figuring things out as the situation was evolving. Um, however, uh, it was such a rewarding community building experience as well. Uh, I got to connect or reconnect in some cases and work with some uh, incredible like-minded, passionate community leaders and partners. Um, I certainly have a renewed appreciation for the resilience of our communities and human services sector as a whole. 
Um, I also have a keen appreciation for some systemic challenges and gaps uh, in services in our communities. Um, I am inspired by the level of commitment in both uh, public service and community leaders to work together and problem solve around those challenges. Uh, my current focus has turned to departmental recovery and renewal efforts. Uh, I believe we're at a moment in time like never before and probably never again in our lifetime, uh, nearing post-pandemic where we have great potential and momentum to collectively move forward on social infrastructure priorities. Uh, this is a tremendous opportunity for us to reflect, take stock, and reimagine uh, to build back better. Throughout the pandemic, we've seen ruptures come to light on differential impact of the pandemic in communities. Um, at the same time, we've also experienced tremendous goodwill and humanity in the world. Uh, and my hope is that we keep these lessons in sight as we move forward on our recovery and renewal journey ahead. Mm -hmm.